Now let's see another example. In that case, we are calling printf in nested form. This printf is outer function and this one is inner function. As we are discussing in case of nested function calling, inner function will be executed before outer function. Therefore, we are concentrating only inner function before processing outer. According to inner printf, inside inner printf we are supplying some string c question but we are supplying manual null character before bank and also we are applying some addition operations this the what is the final size of this string it will take 15 bytes inside memory therefore we are creating array of 15 bytes here we are storing c q u e n e s t i o n next one null b a n k and again implicit null this one is explicit null and next one is implicit null therefore finally null is inserted twice then again as previous case in, in place of string we are replacing base address of given string what is the base address again we are taking 100 therefore we are replacing 100 then final message becomes 101 this is the final conversion is 101 like that first of all we are executing inner printf inner printf will dis will start displaying data from 101 location onwards therefore it will leads q q data kab tak read karega jab tak null character found hota o n after n null character is encountered therefore it will stop their working how many characters are displayed by this printf functions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, it will return 8. Printf function ka simply working ka displaying message on the monitor and returning number of displayed symbols. There are 8 symbols are printed, therefore it will return 8. In now next time. After completing inner printer, then outer printer will be executed in place of percent D value replaced, which is returned by outer printer, which is 8. Again, it will display value as 8 and it will return 1. But we are not storing 1. This is the behavior of nested printer versus strings.